Hey guys, it's me, Angie Rami11, and today we're going. I'm going to show you all of my fidgets. So let's get started. And um, also, I'm not spoiled. Um, I I always wanted fidgets. I just wanted to be like Mrs. Bench. So yeah, don't hate. Okay, so this is my the shelf where I put fidgets in. Well, my shelf where I color. Where I put my pencils, math books, other kinds of stuff over there. So we're I'm going to show you a the box of all of my fidgets. Ah! Oh my gosh, some of them fell. Okay. So we got the poppet. Um, I have to carry the other poppets. Okay, so so these are the poppets. I have so much. These are the other fidgets I have. So yeah, and by the way, guys, I'm so excited to get my poppet balls from Amazon. I'm so excited, and they're gonna they're gonna come very soon. So yeah. Okay, I'm get also get my stress balls. Oh yeah, and I, I for, forgot some of my boba pop it and my cupcake pop it. Uh, okay. Okay, guys. Sorry if it's not like lined up properly. It's because I'm I'm recording on an iPad. Okay. So um, I'm gonna dump the. Why do I have a Chuck E. Cheese play pass? <laughs> okay, so I have a bike chain. So that's one. Um, two, three, four, five, six, seven, <laughs> um, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, um, 17, it's a fidget thing on my tray making, 18, 19, 20, 20 21, 22, um, 23, this is a broken marble mesh, but I guess it will count. 24, 25, 26, uh, 27, uh, 28. <laughs> it's like some kind of, like a thing that gives you like a massage. Wait, what number was I in? I think I was 27. Yeah, I think. 28, um, 29, 30. 31, my puzzle ball, 32, it's like a slider, 33, um, 34, it's like a handmade poppet I'm trying to make, like a handmade heart dimple made out of paper, these are supposed to, I, I was supposed to make like a, like a pretend fidget shop, or like a fidget restaurant, <laughs> Um, so, yeah. Next, we're going to do the stress balls. Um, 34 is this purple and pink color thing Nito. Makes an awkward sound. Um, uh, another color changing Nito, except it's pink. I think it's this is number 34 or number 33. Sorry, I just keep on forgetting the numbers I count. Actually, we're not going to count anyway, so. So, this is my blue color change, blue and pink color changing needle. Um, um, 34. My orange needle. Oh. My strawberry. My strawberry poppet. My strawberry stress moment to say, not strawberry poppet. My atomic needle. I got this at education station at my country. 
Canada. Um, next, um, we're going to do the pocket. Excuse me. Sorry. I guess I have to jump, jump the ball. My jumbo poppet's stuck in there. Yeah. So I have this jumbo butterfly poppet. Um, and yeah. Okay. My Among Us Rainbow Poppet. This is my first um ever poppet. When the fidgets start to come out, like the poppets started to cave. Um, I dimple digits. These are one of my favorite. Um, but even though it's a dimple, I may as count it. I uh, may it will still count as a poppet because there's bubble pops on it. This is my favorite and has been my dream fidget for like months. Got this, um, I think I got this one year ago, I suppose, on Education Station, or a few months ago. Or a lot of months ago, I don't know how much, how many months. A flower poppet, oh my god, from Showcase. Okay, so, this square poppet, I got it from Showcase, flower poppet, Showcase, and star poppet, I got it from Showcase. I used to buy my fidgets at Showcase, but I do not anymore. They have good fidgets there, though. Um, I also have a butterfly poppet. I got this from Mastermind Toys. This is my favorite poppet. I love this one. It's just, and it also has numbers on it. You can't really see. It has like minus, um, plus division and multiplication on the purple. And it has numbers, but you can't really see it on camera, but that's okay. Next is this Popsicle Poppet. I got this recently at Winners. It's a good place. The bubble pops are a bit small, but they're really good. A bit good bubble. Pretty good. Okay. Um, this Rainbow Poppet. This one is my favorite. The bubble pops are just too good. And I wouldn't stop playing with it. I also got this recently. I got these two. These were like a two pack and winners. And they were the last ones in stock. I was lucky. And yeah. Um, that's not all of my fidgets. There's more. So I have like a unicorn poppet. This one, I got a lot of, a few months ago. I forgot how many months, like in August or something. I don't know when. But this had also been my dream fidget. Ugh, my neck is itchy a lot. Okay. Also, I got the simple dimple um, a lot of months ago or maybe one year ago. I don't know if they exist, existed one year ago. So, yeah. It's like my favorite simple dimple. And also, guys, I forgot to count how many fidgets. That's why I was counting before because um, the last time I counted all my fidgets was like when I had a 58 fidgets. So, yeah. I also have a Poppet bracelet. It's I don't really wear it because it's broken. It has a rip on it. But um, if if this one would break, I would make like a mini octopus by cutting it with scissors and making a little octopus, like a little mini octopus poppet. So yeah, this is my favorite one. Okay. Okay. I also got this triangle poppet recently, also at Winners. It was not a two pack. Um, I I found it before I were going to check out. I found it. It said it was a pizza poppet, but I might as well say it's a p, p um a triangle poppet because it is shaped like a triangle. Also, I have this cupcake poppet. I think um uh, this is like one of my favorites. 
I oh, I I saw one of these on Mastermind Toys, but I I got this one at Winners. Mastermind Toys had one, but um I decided not to buy it. But this one is just better. Let me just pop the bubbles, and yeah, this is one of my favorites. I also got recently last week, I suppose. So yeah, Mimi Poppet. I got this. Um, a few months ago or one year ago. Sorry if I said these. Sorry if I said that a million times. It's just that I feel like I got it one year ago or either a few months ago. So, or maybe a lot of months. So, yeah. The bubble pops, they, they are good on both sides. I love this pop it. So, yeah. I don't really play with it, though, but that's okay. No, I don't want to dump my fidgets again. Bruh. By triangle pop it. Sorry, sorry, technical difficulties. Um, so the two, the last two, the last two is this boba pop it and this octopus, this octo flip. I like this, I like this fidget because you can just pop these out. Do this. And yeah. This I got it one year ago. And the bubble pops are just fine. My friend D my friend had also one of these, except I had like a smiley face here and a mad face here. Like a mad face, but mine doesn't have a mad face. It just has the same face. It doesn't change faces. Well, and by the way, guys, I forgot to tell you that the Boba Pop It um, is a two-pack with the Cupcake Pop It from Winners. And that video I posted, Shopping at Winners, that's where I got them. I forgot to post it on my YouTube channel last week. I forgot to post it on my channel. So I posted it yesterday instead. And so far, these fidgets are amazing. Okay, guys, last bucket I'm going to show you is this green bucket. Okay. So I have like an octopus, I have like an octoflip plushie that changes to mad to happy. I saw like a gray and black one. I wanted to buy it, but it didn't work properly. And this one is just too perfect. I love it. Eee! I like how it's orange and blue and it works perfectly good. E. It's so squishy, you just want to cuddle it. Okay. Next is this monkey noodle. I sorry if I showed you guys the monk I sorry if I showed you my other monkey noodles. Like a mini monkey noodle and my large monkey noodle, but it's a different color. This one is like a purple monkey noodle. Pew! It's a really good one. Ow. That hurt. Okay. And next is this pop tube. I love pop tubes, and I also have a mini one of them. Got this and masked these two. I got them from Mastermind Toys one year ago. Or actually, um, a lot of months ago. I don't know. Like at June or July, I got him. No, it's stuck in there. Sorry, guys. Technical difficulties. It's stuck in there. Okay, got it out. So this is my mini pop tube. It is really better because this pop tube is a bit harder to push out like pull and yeah this mini pop tube i love it 10 out of 10 and i like how it's like pink sorry i had to do that so yeah water timer this is also one of my favorites 
I don't play with it because it's just a bit too, just a bit boring to watch. But it's a good fidget. I brought it at daycare um, when it was like a summer break, when there was no school last year, when it was like a summer break. Um, I usually take this at my daycare, and it's the best. I just like watching it. And it's like one of my favorite fidgets. Next is this wacky track. I don't really play with these things. I don't really play with these things. But I like how I can make like a DIY snapper out of wacky tracks. Those are what look like one of my favorite things doing with wacky tracks. Or doing like a... Or doing other stuff with them. Like making something like a V. I'm trying to make a V, guys, so please don't hate. It looks like a U, but it looks like a house when you flip it upside down, but it's a U. And yeah. Sorry about that, guys. Um. Okay, so I like this wacky track. It's like one of my favorite things to do with them. So yeah, let me fix it into a. Um, I, I'll post out and out, guys, and also guys, I'll show you a video of how to make a snapper out of a wacky track. So yeah, if you have one, but you need like the you need like a size that is like mine's, or but don't do it too small or very big because it's not going to work. So you have to find like a perfect one like mine. So you don't have to, but if you have a good one, then yeah. There we go. There we go. Let's put my other... I can't make... um. Uh, I can't make... You know, like, I can't make, um, a wacky track on the, on this one. Because it always bends like this. And it's, that's the weird, confusing part. And I don't know why. Ugh, stop bending. It's so confusing. I don't know why. It just doesn't work properly. But these two don't work properly. So, yeah. Um... I forgot what are these called? Finger rings? No, magnetic rings. So these magnetic rings, I don't know why they're fidgets, but I think it's like supposed to be like a a cool fidget to do with your fingers, like rings. Ah! And also guys, it shows you the instructions on how to um how to do it. So you have to probably do your finger like up instead of like down because it's just gonna not really be that as a fidget. And but if you lift them up, it's gonna be good. That's all I know. And you can do them in any kind of shape, like like a line or like this. That's all you can do. And you can like like that. Or you can just stack them up. Oh! Next is this triple dimple. Um, this triple dimple, I shouldn't have bought it on Amazon. I regretted it. Because the triple, they didn't came like this. I broke it with scissors. <laughs> and I didn't know it would actually break it. Well, if you guys were gonna, just going to hate on me, then that's okay. I don't care. But okay. And yeah, but I don't think it's like that good because oh uh, my friend Sienna she has a triple dimple, but the thing is it's not like this one. And my dad thinks the the simple dimple, um, it in the triple dimple or the triple dimple he thinks the triple dimple is fake. 
than the simple dimple because he says that these here, like the brains on the on the triple dimples, are fake and because they're like they are like a bit not texturous but not really like it's just flattened. But this, but the simple dimple is. So yeah. But uh, it's nothing bad, so I gave it a 7 or 6 out of 10. Great. Next, it's this fidget spinner. Um, I got this from Education Station, like, literally for free. And it glows in the dark. It's like a glow-in-the-dark fidget spinner. I won't show you guys because I don't know if it will work. So, yeah. Oh no, I forgot one one more um poppet, guys. I forgot to show you guys one more poppet. I forgot to show you guys one more poppet. Sorry, my hair is on the way. It's the glow in the dark poppet. So this glow in the dark poppet is like one of my favorites. I recommend it. But they didn't cut they didn't worth the price on education station the dimple digits though it costed like 30 dollars my friend said um she got two dimple digits for just five dollars each that's not true though because um i don't know if that's true because she never ever bought a a dimple digits at school because she, she would always bring her fidgets every day and she says that she has the poppet ball. I don't know if that's true. But, okay. Okay, so this fidget spinner. I like it. I just don't really play with it that much. Sorry. Um, I have a pink monkey noodle. I already told you about these ones. My, I have a marble mesh, but it has like a little hole in it. So it might break easily. Um. So, yeah. I like just like this one. We sorry, I guess if I'm quiet. No, no, it broke. Oh no! Oh no! Um, I was just playing with it. And that happened, but I can put it in because there is a hole in it, which is good news. Next is this marble mesh. Um, and yeah, this is another marble mesh. Um, I also have like a marble that has two marbles in it, but I don't know where is it. It's probably in this bin. Um, one second, guys. Okay. Yep, I found it. I found them. Ah, why did I brought a mini monkey noodle? What the heck? Okay, but no, not a squishy. <laughs> okay, so this is my my two marble mesh. I love this one. It's just just I like how it has two marbles because you can play with them and it keeps you occupied. This marble mesh also. Um, used to have one marble because I got like a fidget package, like a fidget pack. But yeah, this one's pretty good. I like it. And it doesn't have any holes in it. Well, it actually doesn't have a hole here. It was because it was trying to do these tricks where you usually. Okay, I forgot how to. Uh, so yeah, these are my marble meshes. The last two is this cat squishy and this um, fidget cube. So what I'm gonna talk about is the cat squishy. I I don't know where I got it from. I, I think I got it from like the south side. It's like a cat squishy. My mom said it said the logo, it said um, stress ball, like a cat stress ball. And it's not really, it's like a, it's supposed to be like a foam squishy or like a foam stress ball. Look, it's, it's just literally a squishy because 
it can go it's going up itself so that means it's a squishy but the ears are falling off because i've been playing with it for too much but it's a good fidget recommend it last 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 bruh this is like a starbucks paper squishy even though it literally says kawaii coffee on it I made this paper squishy at daycare. It's a really good one. This is my first, um, no, actually not, it's not my first paper squishy. Um, uh, this is my first paper squishy. So, yeah. This fidget cube is one of my favorites. It's just that I don't really play with them a lot for that much. Um, it's like the buttons here. So the buttons here work, except for these buttons when they're supposed to. Um, I got this from Education Station. It was the last one in stock um, one year ago. And yeah. Well, okay, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this triple the bowls broken because it's made out of paper. But anyways, I guess I'll see you later. Bye.